What's up guys, Rick down here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us today because we've got an awesome new video series that we're going to introduce to you today. We are going to start every Tuesday to be a Tech Tip Tuesday. Just like we're doing the Tank Test Thursdays for showing you guys what the action looks like underwater for the certain lures, Tech Tip Tuesday is going to be something that we open up and really discuss some awesome stuff for the fisheries that are happening at the current moment. So right now we have Ocean Coho showing up and this is a great opportunity to show you guys a little bit of some new stuff in terms of how to rig up for these fish. So you're going to want to stay tuned for this one today because we're going to discuss the hoochie skirts or squids and a little different rigging that you may not know. So stay tuned. So like I said, Tech Tip Tuesday is here, super excited about this, and really excited for this ocean coho fishery for 2018, guys. It's really shaping up to be something that could be really good. And for all of us up here in the northern Puget Sound, we have been crossing our fingers for a good coho year for a handful of years now, and I am so excited if we actually get to have that opportunity. Right now, lots of fish are being caught, and this year, it really seems like the fish are keying in to that hoochie skirt behind a flasher tipped with a herring strip. So today, we're going to cover, like I said, that hoochie skirt, but I'm going to show you a little bit different rigging that will help bring more strikes to you. So what we're talking about with that rigging specifically is adding a tinsel skirt. So for many, what a tinsel skirt or a glow skirt is looks like something like this. You're going to find these. They come, I think, a dozen to a package. Gold Star makes them. They got this squid head plastic insert that goes up inside the squid head and allows it to fish, adds glow. You can also get them like a pearl here that just adds a little bit of flash. You can get the heads themselves, actually, and you can even tie up ones that you want to do, and this is just crystal flash. So that is a tinsel skirt, and these are nice if you have the time to sit down and go through all that. Honestly, a lot of us do not have that time or really want to put that effort out. So what a better way to do it than to do this next piece. You may have heard of an ace high fly. Something like this, where you have almost a hoochie skirt right in with a tinsel skirt at the same time. So a very effective fly on its own for coho and salmon in general. Very productive. And this is just their normal size. Well, they do make a needlefish size for that ace high fly. Needlefish meaning a little bit slender profile, a little bit more narrow of a head shape. So you guys can see this here. Top view of that is pretty narrow compared to the first guy that I showed you. Definitely a, a different profile for that bigger guy. Now what then we do is our same normal squid rigging like I showed in my last video. You got your two hooks. You got um, however you wanted to space out. Got everything there. You can store it all on one of these leaderboards from leader feeder, but you have your spacing, your rigs, you've already taken care of that. I've showed it in the previous video here where you guys can go take a look at that itself. But what's so cool is you take your favorite squid skirt. Now I have three that I really like for coho. This guy, which is a all glow with a blue stripe and chartreuse sides. And I will put the actual color name in the description below. Then you have Apple Core, which is just a super glow squid. Very, very productive too. Or you have, this one is the Purple Haze, which is a straight kind of UV white. Those are my three choices for coho when I'm actually using a rubber squid skirt. So to enhance this, you take your UV needlefish, you take your squid skirt that you want to use, 
and all I'm doing guys is I am threading the head of this up inside the squid body and then you just kind of have to arrange the squid legs so that they don't interfere push it all the way in and just like that you have a full bodied squid that has the glow properties then you have the UV properties of that ace high fly now that tinsel skirt appearance is way more full way more flash this thing will absolutely do more damage not to say you can't use these original style of your tinsel skirts they will work but if you have the ability to something like this with a little bit extra flash plus the glow capabilities of your squids man you're gonna slam them here's another needle fish this one happens to be the splatterback glow and that's UV as well I take that into my apple core same thing thread that bad boy in there make sure the legs all lay flat so you're not pushing any out of the way sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge but you get that head shape in there And boom, just like that, full body, sucker glows like crazy. And I'll show you lastly, this purple haze doesn't glow. It is straight UV and really does well. So you take the same UV purple haze needlefish. You can, th and this might actually be even an easier way to do it. Thread open. Put that baby in there, and just like that, you're ready to go. Super easy, guys. A lot of us actually have in their salmon ocean gear these ace high flies. So if you have something like that, don't be afraid to put them with your hoochie, hoochie skirts. I'll show you then. I will take this rigging out of my box, take my favorite squid combo get that line all threaded in there and when you have everything lined up together it's gonna look just like that perfect hook placement that thing is gonna get hammered tip that with a little bit of a herring strip golden so I thought they guys with this tech tip Tuesday of showcasing you how to add a little bit more flash to your squid skirts will make a huge difference on your coho catch so thank you so much hope you enjoyed this tech tip Tuesday because there is a lot more to talk about coming up soon so thanks so much this is Rick Dan with Holy Moly Outdoor signing off take care guys Give us a like, give us a thumbs up. We got so much stuff going on. Really appreciate it all. We'll see you on the water. Take care and fish on.